We finished packing up our bags, but to give you guys a little backstory, we came to Nagumbo because there really isn't much to do here outside of eat at the restaurants on one strip and then go to the beach. And so that's kind of why we came and we ended up finding a nice coffee shop with good internet. So we turned it into a little workation. And now, however, we are making the two and a half hour ride on motorcycle to Candy. And so this is supposed to be really pretty and it takes seems to take us through the mountains. Right now it's probably like 35 degrees Celsius in the middle of the day. And I think when we go get up to Candy, it's supposed to be more like 23. So it's supposed to be a large temperature drop which is gonna be kind of nice because I feel like I step outside and I sweat my life out. But time to go drop the bags off at the front so we can go get breakfast and then hop on the bike for the ride. Ah, oh, Sri Lanka. <laughs> beautiful weather, beautiful beaches, palm trees, a nice ocean breeze. I really love being on an island. Yeah. Guys, Sri Lankan people are so freaking nice. Every single time that we're walking down the street or we sit down at a restaurant, there's someone who comes up to us, asks us where we're from, what we're doing here, how long we're gonna be here for, and they are just the loveliest. And we looked lost or confused the other day, we were looking for a restaurant, oh, and this yeah. woman gets on her motorbike and goes like, here, I'll take you. And it was like, I guess like a few steps down the road. But she drove us all the way there just so that we wouldn't get lost. Yeah, it was really nice. All righty, guys. So last time that you guys saw us, we were in Nagumbo on the way to Candy. But frankly, we were trying to learn how to get all of the stuff on our motorcycle all the way to Candy for two and a half hours without falling off. And it ended up being harder than we expected. And then we got back here so pooped that we didn't do anything in Candy either, but we are on the last eight days in Sri Lanka, so now it's time to keep going. So now you get to watch us go from Candy to Nuwara Alia, where hopefully we'll actually be able to show you some of the amazing things to do there. Oh, actually, I wonder how we're gonna do this, because we have to get all of our bags on the bike. <laughs> uh, stay there. We're Wait, no, I've got expertise. Bit. You've got expertise? Listen. Okay, here, I have to put my bag on first. <laughs> all right. And let me spin the bike around, so that way we're not having to back out. With all of our stuff. Also, guys, how sick is this bike? Right? This bike is awesome. It's a DeMarc 200cc. And DeMac. On it, huh? DeMac? There's Did no I say DeMarc? It's a DeMac 200cc. And it has been running so smooth. It is amazing going up the mountains with it. And actually a huge thank you to Bike Rental Sri Lanka for actually hooking us up with as nice of a bike as we did. If you guys are looking to rent a bike in Colombo, check out their information down below, they're awesome. But anyways, we have this sexy bike. Time for me to turn around so I don't wreck the bike before it even starts. <laughs> and make sure I don't run over Annette's toes. Whoop. All right, so uh, if you guys were wondering how we get from point A to point B, this is it. Because apparently it's illegal to uh, add racks to a bike in Sri Lanka. Yeah. It costs you like 25,000. Not US, Sri Lankan rupees, but that's still a lot. And this is also why we were so tired and why we didn't want <laughs> candy. Bye, thank you. So we decided to stop off because there's a really nice like coffee shop with a huge lookout and there's like massive waterfalls in the cliffs in the distance. It's really cool. Oh yeah, trick with stray dogs. If they think you're crazier than they are, they'll leave you alone. I don't think they're stray though, they're so cute. <laughs> Those weren't, but 
general tip whenever traveling to anywhere with stray dogs. I always attack them when they attack me and it seems to work so far. <laughs> oh. Alright, here, let me trade the camera with Annette so she doesn't have to carry the bag. I'm a champion. I've got it. I've got this. Guys, there's so many waterfalls. I love seeing waterfalls. And I honestly think that the most badass waterfalls I've ever seen in my life have been here. Just because there's so many, and some, like Daniel, look straight in front of me. There's just waterfalls and lakes and lookouts and... God, I love it here. Okay, New Aurelia, that's where it's at. I'm probably saying that wrong. Nuwara Elia. That's where it's at. Black coffee for a hundred. This place is also a hotel, a restaurant, and a coffee shop, and it has arguably the most amazing view. Yeah, very true. If you guys watched our videos in Vietnam when we did the Hajan Loop, the views there were crazy and ridiculous and beautiful. This is almost something else. Yeah, I think that it's because, wow. Yeah. I think it's because here it's more tropical, so you have a lot more like dampness. There's more waterfalls and yeah. Also, we got really kind of crappy weather during our Hazan Loop truck, and so I think that that kind of played into it. We have really nice breezy weather that's beautiful here. So, oh yeah. my God, look at this! Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. Go ahead. We just ordered um, coffee from the place next door. Do you have a menu though? Awesome, thank you. Wow. That is impressive. Thank you so much. Thank you. We figured while we're here, why not look at some food? Yeah. While looking at this view. Oh my God. We ended up ordering more than just a coffee. The coffee was 100 Sri Lankan rupees, which came out to less than a dollar, guys. Like, it came out to just over 50 cents. And, you could just order a coffee and then sit in this beautiful, stunning view that Daniel's about to show you right now. And we ended up also ordering lunch because we really just needed a break from being fun bike. And the food wasn't super expensive. So it was 1,000 Sri Lankan rupees, which comes out to just over $5 in America. And it came with rice. It came with a pumpkin curry, a thing that looks like jackfruit, but maybe cabbage curry a green bean curry, a doll, a mystery thing that smells like a candle I get at Bath and Body Works, apple jam it looks like, and crackers. Daniel got... I was uh, really excited. I got a fried noodle with chicken. Nothing crazy. <laughs> All right, but we're going to go ahead and dig into this food. Enjoy the rest of this view and hopefully I'll be in a better mood after, and then we'll get back on the bike. Okay. So we have made it to our guest house. We just had to park at the top of the hill, and then I guess we have to walk down. Oh, wow, check this out. So we have literally been talking to our hosts and they're lovely people and they've been telling us actually everything to do around here and it's really good that we have a bike to be honest. We passed apparently a lot of the waterfalls that there were to see. We may go back and do one. I think more likely what's going to happen is we're going to go back and check out the tea plantation um, while we're here and then uh, Adam's Peak which was like the plan was to stay here and then go hike Adam's Peak and come back. I'm speaking like 72 kilometers away from here and it's almost equidistance from Ella as well. Like you have to go so far out of your way to hike it. So I'm not quite sure if we're going to do that during our time here, but this place has been really nice. What a difference in temperature though. Literally from candy to here, it's like 20 degrees Fahrenheit difference lower. Like we were driving the bike and I was just like, wow, this is so cold. But our hosts were lovely and made us tea. Oh, wow, we had such a long walk. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And they give us microfiber towels. How neat. Yay. I like it. Well, sweet, guys. Um, on that note, we're going to get checked in, get showered, not look black. I really hope you guys can see that because this is a white shirt. So we're going to get clean, do some laundry, catch you guys right after. Well, on the next vlog. Anyways, make sure that you guys hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so that way you can see the rest of our adventures around the world. 
And guys, please give the video a share. It really means a lot to us and we've been loving all of the support and the comments that we've been getting from you guys on our channel and it has been absolutely amazing. So as the end screens go ahead and pop up, click on over to one of those playlists. That way you guys can either see the rest of our Sri Lanka videos or check out our Philippines videos or whichever ones you may want to check out. So click one of those boxes. We'll see you guys on the next adventure.